Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Obviously, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look for you guys. So I have officially made the decision to kind of start a little series over the next few months where I post one tutorial using each of the Pat McGrath and the Natasha Denona palettes that I do not have tutorials up for already. And the reason that I'm doing this is I pretty often get comments asking if I've done a look with this Pat McGrath Mothership palette or this Natasha Denona palette. And though I do have a couple up or I do have a tutorial included in my review, I don't have that many dedicated tutorials up for palettes. So since I do have so many Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath subscribers, I have decided to dedicate a whole video and tutorial to each palette. My goal for this is for my channel to work as a reference for you guys so you guys can have something that you can look back to and feel inspired by and also maybe bring out your old Pat McGrath or Natasha Denona palettes that you haven't used recently and you can use them along with me. So for today's tutorial I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction palette. Now the reason that I'm using this one is because it is my favorite of all Pat McGrath palettes but also it's the one I've gotten the most requests for for a tutorial. I do have have one on my review that you can watch that tutorial as well but I did want to give this one a whole dedicated video this look is really actually very simple to do anybody can do it so just follow along with me if you want to learn how to get this gorgeous kind of grungy glittery smoky eye so let's just get straight into the tutorial to start off, I'm using my Makeup Revolution Concealer, and I'm using that both as a base and as well to carve out my eyebrows. From the Bronze Seduction Palette, I am taking the shade Entrapment, which is just a medium brown shade, and I'm just blending that all over my crease with a fluffy blending brush. I'm then going in with the shade Disobedient, which is a darker chocolate brown, and that is going all over my lid. Once I place that all over my lid, I'm then just going to blend out those edges. Taking the shade Astral Luna Gold, which is one of her amazing duochrome glitter formulas, I'm going to spray my finger with some water, and doing this makes the shade more metallic, and it also allows you not to have to use glitter glue. The next step is to take just a small little brush, and I'm using that just to diffuse those edges. And then I'm going in with the shade Fire Opal, and this is one of the most important steps of the look. This is going to add more green to the eyes and really add a lot of dimension in the colors. And again, you're ta I'm taking that brush and I'm diffusing those edges. This is a glitter look, so you're going to get fallout. So I'm using a wipe just to clean up those glitters fallouts. And here I am using my sleeve to dry myself. <laughs> and onto the face we go. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. This was actually my first time trying it. And um, I kind of got to admit, I didn't really notice any type of difference. <laughs> Good old L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, super good drugstore foundation. I'm just using my sponge to blend that in. Taking Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer, I'm going to use that to brighten up my face. So I'm putting that on my under eyes as well as my chin to try and lengthen my face. Using my sponge, I'm going to press in my Cody Loose Setting Powder. I find that pressing in the powder on your under eyes really locks it in and actually reduces creasing. 
go figure. I'm using Pretty Vulgar Mannequin Bronzer to warm up my face. And oh my gosh, you guys, it was so powdery. This is my first time using it. It really surprised me. <laughs> I'm taking this neutral pink shade for my NARS Wanted One cheek palette and that's what I'm going to use to give my cheeks some life. From the Balm the Luminizers Quad, I'm taking the highlighter Penny Luminizer and it's a really golden highlighter that I thought would really complement the eyes and I just applied it on the high points of my cheek, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Back to the eyes, I'm taking Entrapment, that initial transition shade we used, and I'm just going to put that on my under eyes. And then we're working in with the Disobedient shade, which is the darker color. I'm using a much more compact brush, and I'm really packing that onto my lower lash line. And if you watch, I want you to notice I'm really putting that into the inner corner as well to make it really smoky and dark. <music> Onto the ombre lip, I'm taking the darker color which is Mess Around from ColourPop and I'm putting that all over my lips. And here's my special tip, take a makeup wipe and just take the product off the center of your lips so you don't get too much product buildup. And then put your lighter color in the center of your lips and lightly pat with your fingers to really get that beautiful ombre look. And you're not layering it on too much product so that your lips look extra crusty. You know what I mean? <laughs> And that is it. That is how you get this beautiful look. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you take the time to subscribe to my channel. Bye guys, have a great day.